Ever since people began building huge structures, there's been the need to move bulky and heavy materials to where they're needed. New machines and vehicles are being created that can handle increasingly enormous weights, from cargo containers to oil platforms, spaceships, and entire buildings. Join me as we take a look at 15 of the largest loads ever transported. Number 15. The Ever Ace Almost 90% of the world trade in goods is transported by sea, which offers a more cost-effective solution than any other alternatives. The routes between the world's major ports are congested, with an almost constant flow of vessels. So to overcome this problem, shipping companies are building bigger and bigger vessels. The current record holder for the most containers ever loaded onto a ship at once is held by the Ever Ace, which is a recently launched container vessel that's operated by Evergreen. It was the first of their new A-class ships, of which 14 now have been built, and it's absolutely enormous. Measuring 1,312 feet, or 400 meters long, and 202 feet, or 61 and a half meters across the beam, it's possible to stack containers 24 across on the board to give the vessel a theoretical capacity of 23,992 20-foot crates. In practice, of course, it never reaches this figure. But after first setting sail in mid-2021, the Everace did smash the previous record by carrying a total of 21,710 containers, from Yantian in China to Europe. With shipping routes becoming ever more competitive in recent months, though, this is a record that will almost certainly be broken again within the next year or so. Number 14. NASA Crawler Transporter Carrying extremely heavy components and attached to large and bulky fuel tanks, spaceships are incredibly difficult vehicles to move from one place to another. Originally, NASA faced a problem with how to safely put all of the pieces together and then get the completed rocket onto a launch pad. So their engineers built the perfect solution, the Crawler Transporter. The two tracked vehicles are used to move craft from the Vehicle Assembly Building at NASA's Kennedy Space Center to launch Complex 39 and are some of the largest land vehicles ever created. Measuring 131 feet or 40 meters long and 114 feet or 35 meters wide, they weigh around 2,700 tons each and are powered by four engines. Amazingly, when working together and after significant upgrades in the past decade, they were able to lift and carry loads of up to 9,000 tons, which means they're prepared for virtually any conceivable spacecraft design in the coming years. The record weight they've carried to this point, though, dates back to when they carried the Saturn V rockets into position, vehicles that could weigh in excess of 2,000 tons. It's hardly a fast process, though, because to overcome the sheer forces involved, the crawler transporters live up to their name and can only move at a top speed of 1 mile or 1.6 kilometers per hour when loaded. Number 13. Gulf XC The Gulf X oil field is located in a Norwegian-controlled region of the North Sea, and after first being discovered in 1978, warranted a huge amount of investment and development to extract the estimated 2.1 billion barrels of oil that were there. As part of this, Stat Oil, the Norwegian state-owned energy company, built three platforms. And the third of these, called Gulf X C, became the heaviest object that has ever been moved from one place to another in human history, with a water displacement of 1.5 million tons. It was towed into position in 1989, where it was installed in 708 feet or 216 meter deep water. It's a concrete gravity base structure, which is 1,247 feet or almost 380 meters tall in total, with the base on its own being 860 feet or about 262 meters high. And current measurements suggest that it exerts a weight of 550,000 tons onto the seabed. Part of the reason why it needed to be so large was because of the depth it was positioned also because it would become one of the most productive platforms on Earth. With 300 crew members, there's space on Gulf X C to store up to 2 million barrels worth of oil, giving it huge excess capacity if the pipes on the mainland are interrupted. Number 12. BHP Iron Ore Train Railroads around the world have made it easier to transport cargo across countries, but while you may think you've seen trains carrying a lot, the heaviest load transported by rail is on a whole different level. The Mount Newman Railway in Australia is a privately owned one that stretches between Newman and Port Hedland in Western Australia, and it's used by the mining company BHP to transport iron ore. It's 264 miles or 426 kilometers long, and regularly sees trains traveling along it laden with 268 cars and more than 150 tons of cargo on board each one. 
In June of 2001, however, after delays in the route and a huge backlog, BHP ran a train with a load that absolutely dwarfed their usual transports. The train, with its carriages, was 4.6 miles or 7.4 kilometers long and carried 110,000 tons of ore. In 2011, they ran another train, this time with 682 cars that was 4.5 miles or 7.2 kilometers long and on this occasion carried 90,000 tons of ore, the equivalent of over 400 Statues of Liberties. To do this required eight locomotives that were spread out in three pairs and two singles, but amazingly it only needed one driver to operate and managed to complete the entire length of the railway in just 10 hours. Number 11, SSCV Sleipnir. The SSCV Sleipnir is a semi-submersible crane vehicle that was launched in 2019 and still, to this day, holds the record of being the largest of its type in the world, capable of lifting the heaviest loads of anything at sea. Measuring 720 feet or 220 meters long and 335 feet or 102 meters across, it's a huge platform that's supported by eight columns that ensures it stays firmly in place in the water no matter what the weather. It has two large port and starboard cranes, each of which has a 472 foot or 144 meter boom length. And the system that allows the cranes to rotate in their tubs uses the largest bearings ever made, with a diameter of 98 feet or 30 meters. It was designed to help with offshore construction projects, such as building bridges between islands. Each of the cranes has a maximum liftability of 11,000 tons, and they're able to work together to carry objects that weigh up to 22,000 tons. With such forces being exerted on them, the cranes themselves weigh around 3,000 tons each, and it's certainly lived up to the expectations ever since it was entered into service. In September of 2019, Sleepnir set the world record for a load lifted at sea while working on the Leviathan project for Noble Energy, when it hoisted the top side of a gas platform that weighed just over 16,900 tons. Number 10, Texan Turbine Engine. Normally, when corporations need to move equipment from one place to another, you'd expect it to be fully their responsibility to figure out how. But in 2010, during the installation of a new steam turbine engine at a power plant in Riesel, Texas, state authorities needed to step in to ensure it was done as safely as possible and with as little as disruption as possible. The turbine had been delivered to the port of Houston, and weighing 850 tons wasn't a typical piece of cargo to transport by road. The Texas Department of Transportation took over the operation and constructed a custom rig for the project that was made up of two truck cabs and a total of 520 tires and a crew of more than 100 people who would also work on the convoy in shifts to keep it continuously moving towards its destination. The resulting vehicle was the length of a football field, but just 39 feet or 11.9 meters wide to fit on roads and it managed to transport the huge turbine across 250 miles or 400 kilometers of state highways and 82 bridges at an average speed of just 10 miles or 16 kilometers per day, making it easily the heaviest load to be transported that kind of distance in the history of the state. Number 9. Levitated Mass Art is subjective at the best of times, and what some people see as thought-provoking will often seem like nothing more than rubble to others but the heaviest artwork in the world surely pushed these boundaries further than any other. Michael Hazer had a long idea of a project that involved a huge boulder, but despite getting close to creating it in 1969, it would only happen in 2012. In 2006, he found a gigantic 340-ton rock at Stone Valley Quarry in California and managed to secure funding to remove the boulder and install it at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. At a cost of around $10 million, it was loaded onto the back of a 290-foot or 90-meter-long 196-wheel truck that had been custom-built by Emirate International. And because of its size, it could only be moved at nighttime and at a maximum speed of 7 miles or 11 kilometers per hour. Even though the quarry was around 60 miles or 97 kilometers away from the museum, the route it took meant it had to travel 106 miles or 171 kilometers and pass through 22 cities in four counties. Trees had to be cut down, cars were towed out of the way, and even traffic lights had to be removed to clear the path for the boulder. Eventually, it reached the museum, where it was installed above a 456-foot or 139-meter-long viewing pathway to allow visitors to see it from virtually every angle. Number 8. Reverend Kevin Fast 
Humans have, since the dawn of time, showed off their strength and prowess by proving they can lift heavier objects than anyone else. And while most may see this as a complete waste of time, there's no denying that the strongest people in the world are capable of superhuman feats. One of the world's leaders in displays of strength is Canadian Reverend Kevin Fast, who holds a number of records for the heaviest loads ever pulled or carried by a person. He once, for example, pulled a plane along tarmac that weighed more than 220 tons, as well as pulling a fire engine and even a house. He regularly performs in front of crowds where he'll drag a row of cars or some ridiculously heavy object that would make you exhausted even contemplating how to move it. In a recent interview, he said that after pulling planes, trucks, ships, and trains, he can hardly think of anything else to try. Believing it's his gift from God, he first started lifting weights at the age of 12 and has put himself through a tough training regime almost every day since. It's not about just showing off, though, as he puts his talents to good use and has managed to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars for charitable causes over the years. Number 7. The Fu Gang Building Normally, when construction works are taking place where a building already exists, you'd expect the first step would be to demolish what stands there already. But what if you want to keep the original building too? Then the only option is to move it. It's not uncommon in some countries to see houses being transported on roads, but the record for the largest building to be moved intact is in a different league of its own. It was set by the Guangzhou Luban Corporation of China in November of 2004 during a project designed to give a facelift to a region in the Guangxi province. The problem was is that the Fu Gang building had historical importance to the community, so it had to be completely moved a distance of 125 feet, or 38 meters to clear room. Weighing approximately 16,500 tons, the only way to do this was by bringing in a series of jacks, each of which can support up to 200 tons, and slowly lift one side to slide it along a steel-reinforced concrete track. This method meant it moved around 12 inches or 30 centimeters per hour, and the entire project took 11 days to complete. Number 6. Kalmar Super Gloria Kalmar is a company that's probably best known for building forklift trucks, but it also builds heavy lift reach stackers, and in 2014 set the record for being the most powerful vehicle of its kind. The machine, called Super Gloria, is built with a specially raised cab to allow the operator to see what's happening at the end of the boom, and also features a 30-foot or 9.2-meter wheelbase to provide as much stability as possible. Powered by a Volvo engine that's able to produce up to 380 horsepower, it's rated to lift loads of up to 150 tons on its own, or around 250 tons when working in tandem with another. When the first came off the production line to the excitement of the company's employees, it was used to lift a steel component that weighed around 120 tons, and it did it with ease. This immediately put it in the record books for the weight that's liftable by a reach stacker, and since has become a must-have vehicle on large construction projects. Number 5. Cape York Meteorite Debris from space is constantly falling down onto the Earth from above, but on occasion something incredibly special is discovered. That's what happened back in 1894, when Robert Peary was led by locals to the location of what became known as the Cape York Meteorite, which was in the ground around 23 miles or 37 kilometers to the east of Cape York, which is on Meteorite Island in Greenland. Broken into several pieces, it's one of the largest iron meteorites to have ever been discovered, and it's probably been there for thousands of years. In fact, locals had known about it for so long that they used to chip metal from it to make tools. But as is often the case, once outsiders found out about it, they decided to dig it from the ground and take it away. This was no mean feat, though, because the largest piece of the meteorite weighs 34 tons, and there weren't the powerful machines available in the late 19th century as there are today. The only option was to build a new railway to take it to the nearest port, which happened to be the very first railway built in Greenland. Once Peary got the pieces that he had found onto a ship, he took them back to the U.S. where he sold them to the American Museum of Natural History in New York, where they remain on display to this day, in a custom-designed casing that's directly supported by the bedrock beneath the museum. Number 4. MI-26 Heavy Lift Helicopter First brought into service in 1983, the Mill MI-26 Heavy Lift Helicopter is the largest and most powerful helicopter to have ever been designed that went into mass production. Requiring a crew of five people to fly, it measures 131 feet or 40 meters long and 26 feet or about 8 meters tall. It's powered by two Progress D-136 turboshaft engines that produce a combined 22,000 horsepower. 
and this energy is directed to the 105 foot or 32 meter diameter rotor blade to give it a maximum speed of 183 miles or 295 kilometers per hour and the ability to lift far more cargo than any other helicopter. Officially, it's rated to carry either 90 troops, 60 stretchers, or around 25 tons of equipment. But in an effort to show what it's truly capable of, a test flight that took place in Moscow in February of 1982 completely smashed those figures. A Mil Mi-26 was used to lift cargo weighing 62 and a half tons to a height of 6,500 feet or 2,000 meters, which represents an incredible feat of engineering. Number three, Saturn V. Designed in conjunction with Boeing, North American Aviation, and the Douglas Aircraft Company, NASA's Saturn V rocket was what won the space race for the United States. The enormous vehicles were 363 feet or 110 meters tall, and 33 feet or about 10 meters in diameter, and on their own, weighed around 3,200 tons. They were used as part of the Apollo program to launch vehicles into space and remain, to this day, the most powerful rockets ever to do so. During its heyday, the Saturn V sent nine crewed flights to the moon, a further crewed mission, two test flights, and took Skylab, America's first space station, into orbit. In the process of carrying out these missions, it also set the record for the heaviest single load carried beyond our atmosphere. The moon missions required the third stage, along with its unburned propellant to be sent up, as well as the Apollo Command and Service Module and the Lunar Module, which totaled around 154 tons. To put this into perspective, the Saturn V had more than seven times the lift capability of the Space Shuttle, and nothing else has come anywhere close, yet. Number two, the Tysun Crane. Cranes are used on construction sites all around the world to lift the heaviest materials into place. But while you may think the most powerful ones are the huge ones you see standing in city centers on the sites of new skyscrapers, the world record holder is actually in a port in China. Known as Taishun, it can be found at the Yantai Raffle Shipyard in Yantai, which is in China's Shandong Province. The shipyard is where various marine construction projects take place, such as building semi-submersible oil platforms and large vessels, and cranes like the Taishun have become invaluable. That's because these projects involve huge components that need to be lifted into place, as opposed to being built directly onto the ships. And only a few cranes in the world are able to cope with their size and weight. For example, it's rated to lift loads in excess of 22,000 tons, with some components for oil platforms weighing around half of that. Measuring 436 feet or 133 meters high and 394 feet or 120 meters across, it can lift objects to a maximum height of 262 feet or 80 meters and uses a network of 164,000 feet or 50,000 meters of wire ropes to take the strain and hold things in place. The owners wanted to future-proof against the designs of the future and be sure they would be the only shipyard in the world capable of building mega-platforms or a new generation of transport vessels. To show off just how impressive the crane is, they set up a test with a barge that had been filled with water and officially managed to lift a weight of 22,192 tons with the Tyson crane. It also holds the record for the second and third heaviest lift ever performed by a crane, and its nearest competitor can only hold around 10,000 tons at a push. Number 1. Antonov AN-225 Maria The largest loads that are transported around the world are taken by boat, but if price isn't a concern or something as large and bulky needs to be quickly delivered, then it isn't beyond the realms of possibility to send it by plane. The largest and most powerful aircraft to have ever been built was the Antonov AN-225 Maria and was able to carry just about anything. Measuring 272 feet or 84 meters long, with a wingspan of 290 feet or 88 meters, it was powered by six Progress D-18 turbofan engines, which allowed the 314-ton aircraft to reach a top speed of about 530 miles or 850 kilometers per hour. Everything in the fuselage was designed to accommodate cargo and it offered a 46,000 cubic feet or 1,300 cubic meters of interior space. Officially, it had a maximum capacity of 280 tons, which almost doubled its entire weight, and in its lifetime, this was put to good use. It was originally used to transport the Buran-class orbiters for the Soviet space program, but then went on to carry huge volumes of important cargo, such as supplies to disaster zones. It set three world records, the first for the heaviest airlifted load ever, which was four main battle tanks and weighed 280 tons, 
the second for the heaviest single cargo item carried by an aircraft, which was the generator for a gas power plant that weighed 208 tons, and the third was for the longest piece of air cargo, a 138-foot or 42-meter long wind turbine blade. Unfortunately, the AN-225 was recently destroyed in a Ukrainian airport during the war with Russia, but Ukrainian officials have already vowed to rebuild it, and it will hopefully one day take to the skies again. Watch our Machines playlist for more top 15 videos about awesome machines. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best machine videos.